body. Good morning. It's in the afternoon. I just came back from work. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lelaine Art Geek. It's so nice to have you guys here today. I don't know how to do my intros anymore, apparently. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm actually gonna go to the same cafe that I went to last time with John and have my meeting with him. I'm gonna do some drawing in the meantime as well because I have been really due to draw on my own. I haven't been able to really sit down and draw. I'm also going to be going to UltraCon this weekend, so eventually I do need to pack, pick up my prints from Walgreens. I think I might either do that today or tomorrow. We'll see. I will take you guys with me to the cafe. It's called Sipper's Coffee. It's actually so good. I'm going to have one of their sandwiches again and of course their coffee. Chill day after work. Not going to think too much. I didn't even tell you guys or show you guys in the last vlog, but I did outline my enamel pin ideas. That's another thing I have to do. I have to continue to work on these potential enamel pin designs. I honestly might just go with the picnic basket. It's so cute. Work out how to format this into a proper enamel pin design so I can show the manufacturer and they can go ahead and make it for me. As mentioned before, I am working with this manufacturer, so I do get to design one enamel pin for free for 20 pins. And did I even mention that I'm also designing a glow light sign, a glow sign, I believe it's what it's called, because that's also part of their offer too, is to design either like my logo or like whatever I want to have it written into a glow sign. Once I have that, I actually might hang it somewhere here and rearrange some art um, to kind of show my brand name, Lelaine Art Geek. So I'm really excited for that. If the coupon that Vogue Grace gave me still works, I might actually order some sticker books too. So excited because sticker books have always been a dream of mine to design ever since I learned about them. Super exciting things coming along. I have the convention this weekend. I have a lot of products to make and send for it to get made. And I am working on something that hopefully I'll be able to release either the end of this month even though it's coming up either the end of this month or sometime in September, but I'm really excited to launch that. Keep up with me, you guys, and we'll go from there. I don't know what this studio vlog will truly be about. I think it'll just be a combination of many different things that are happening in my life. The Artist Alley vlog for UltraCon will be separate. If you want my full experience of the convention and my opinions on it, then go watch that vlog when it drops. I wanna show you guys some new art that I found in my closet that I meant to hang up, but I wasn't able to way over a year ago, but now I did. So let me show you guys. Here they are. The chopper up there is actually a bumper sticker or a sticker decal, that's what it's called. It's supposed to be a sticker decal for your car, but I actually decided to just tape it up and hang it. These two prints I got from this artist who I'm gonna show on the screen. Two prints of Zorro and Ace, as well as the chopper. I will put their handle on the screen as well. Yes, I am so happy happy. I have their art up. It's about time. I've had it for a very long time, but now they have a pretty good home right over here and my print wall is slowly growing. We love it here. Fresh clothes. No more makeup because I am done with that. I washed the day away and now I am pretty chill. I'm pretty relaxed. What I have in my hand, it's more art that I completely forgot that I have. I'm gonna put more art on the wall. I'm really excited. Look at that. So again, I didn't know I had this for a very long time, but we have Pokemon cards that I'm gonna hang up. That'll look so cute. Hunter x Hunter or Hunter Hunter the way, however you want to say it. Um, art print and evolution one as well. So look at that. Let's go and hang this stuff up before we go to Sipper's Coffee. <laughs>
time even though i already know what's gonna be in this these are the business cards they actually came in right on time two days before i have to leave to west palm beach i'm thankful that they came in on time because i don't know how i would feel if i had to tell people to take a picture of the business card instead thank god and apparently they box this and then there's another box on the inside, which is fine. It actually keeps the cards protected. Ooh, they came out wonderfully. Ooh, my voice cracked there. <laughs> it's the same design that I had before. I think this will be the last run for the square business cards. I think I'm gonna try to design a brand new one so that I can order them in the traditional rectangular shape again because these business cards, because they're square, they're considered customizable or a unique format. So they're a lot more expensive because they have to manually cut these business cards to make them look square. I think that's how it works, but good to go for the business cards. I also got my prints as well. So I have the mini prints and the big prints. When you're ordering from Walgreens, depending on the size, they'll either come in this or they'll come in this. The biggest size I have for prints is eight by 10, and then the smallest is four by four for me. When you order a big order of prints, like how I do it, they would come in like this sort of receipt. Receipt, it has all of the sizes of the prints that you ordered, as well as the first print that they printed and the last. These are all of the prints, the mini prints. So some of these prints, unfortunately, they are going to be some of them are kind of bent. That's the unfortunate part. As you can see here, they made a mistake and they try to cut this, but I have to manually cut it now. Another print too of the Spy Family family and they made a mistake. So this is solvable because it's on the side, but this is a corner. Like I actually might have to either toss this out or I can hang it here in the studio. So I think I might actually do that. I might hang it in the studio. Whenever you order prints that are like four by 5.3, which is a really popular size that I like to order from because it fits the image to the best of its ability. It will sometimes, if not always, come with this white border and I'll just, I just need to manually cut that, which is not that big of a deal. I'm not gonna stress that out. And um, the rest of these prints have that white border. That's the downside of it. Not that, not that stressed. Mini prints are good to go. I have high hopes for the big ones, so. Okay, so I ordered more Zorro because we ran out of Zorro. I have Nami, I have Sanji here. He turned out great, actually. Super happy. See, like when it comes to the big prints, they actually do it right. And the mini prints, it's kind of like a hit or miss, unfortunately. ASL bros. Fun fact, this is actually the first big print I've ever made and sold in Artist Alley. So that's awesome. I'm glad that that turned out great. Got that all situated. I'm actually quite impressed with the big prints, but the mini prints, that's the downside of ordering from Walgreens is they usually make careless mistakes like that. So it truly does depend on which Walgreens you go to. It really does depend on who's working the photo department that day. And if you're just lucky, it's always a hit or miss, but 
Either way, I always quality check each print because I just want the best product at the end of the day. I do need to pack for the convention tonight. Like I need to pack my personal clothes and toiletries and everything. I'm also going to cut those white borders off of the mini prints. I think I might also try to animate another gift tonight too. We'll see on that. All right, catch y'all later.
<laughs> we are back at the studio. I was at UltraCon over the weekend in West Palm Beach. We did a convention there. I had a lot of things to say about that con. So if you want to watch that video, it's already up. But if you want to watch that video after this one, go ahead and click the link down below and it should take you to that video and you will be able to see all of the shenanigans that have happened and they are not good shenanigans. Right now, I am currently ordering some products. I am on Vogue Race. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I am on Vogue Race because I am ordering my sticker books. I'm not entirely sure if I've mentioned it earlier in the vlog, because I know it's been a little bit since I've talked, but I am gonna order some acrylic pins as well. I know immediately the design that I wanna do for my sticker books. So let me actually show you guys what design that is. It's the Sailor Moon Gang. I've been wanting to use this design for notebooks or even like sketchbooks and anything like that that has to do with like having it on a cover. I knew that sticker books would have been the perfect option for that. I also need to work on my enamel pin designs and the neon design as well. So I have a lot of things to do. I will continue to order my products and sketch whatever I need to sketch and draw whatever I need to draw. We'll go ahead and just continue to do what we gotta do. just now and I think I am pretty much done with it. This is the design I've been working on. I've actually had this design and another design that I've been working on for weeks, but because of my schedule, I haven't been able to fully sit down and draw and finish. So now I have it done. This design, they are actually going to be turned into stickers and mini prints because I am working on my very first Patreon. 
I'm actually turning it into a sticker and print club as well as a platform where you can access early, early access to videos, behind the scenes, clips that I won't share on YouTube and you guys get to see raw footage of my everyday life, getting behind the scenes of my art as well, and receiving some physical goodies. Don't worry if you can't afford the physical rewards, I also will provide digital rewards. Sketches for my sketchbook that I won't share. Wallpapers, I really want to design wallpapers. Still in the works, but I am super excited to finally be working on my Patreon. Really excited for this part of my journey now, and I hope you guys will be able to come along with me. guys i just finished these sketches of my character cassie kind of like as like a warm-up i do this thing i don't know why i 
do this, but I do this thing where I just go for a few days without drawing because I'm either busy with editing my videos or filming or anything like that of the sort on top of my schedule in real life too. So uh, at, at work, of course. I like to do this thing every few mornings where I just sketch and I draw and I just don't think about it really. Like these are just for fun to fill up my sketchbook. It's okay to just sit down and sketch if you feel like it or if you need to work on your skills because you haven't drawn in a couple of days like I have. I did work on some stuff, like I did some designing, but that's more so for the business. This is just for fun. Like I haven't, I think that's what I meant to say. This is drawing for fun for myself. I don't know what else I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I think I'll continue drawing if anything. I do, I do like to dedicate some time off when I'm not working to just, just to draw and not have to think about it. So this might be the start of doing that. I think I'll end the vlog here. I'll continue on in the next video, in the next vlog, with all the things that I have to do for work and the business. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it's a lot of drawing in this vlog, but I hope you enjoy it anyway and that you were able to be productive with me. Thank you again for the support. I will see you guys next time.